I'm going to be doing a challenge. Basically, I'm going to be generating a random shape and whichever shape I get, I have to build a Bloxburg house out of it. So I'm going to be playing a little game with it. Basically, I have six boxes and I'm going to be having to choose a shape from it. Let's see, I'm going to be choosing the number five. It looks like we're building a circle house. <laughs> Now that we have our shape, we have to build the exterior of it. So basically a circle in Bloxburg is pretty difficult to build. That's the perfect circle. You cannot tell me that doesn't look perfect. But first we need we need a front door. So for this front door, since it's a circle, we'll go with a, a little arched uh, doorway. Maybe, maybe I'll just put the door right there. So now we are going to have to do the layout. So I'm gonna start off with building the bedroom. Door we'll do for the bedroom and then for the bed, we need to figure out, is it a master bed or is it a kid's bed? I don't know yet. <laughs> so for the bed, I'm going to be choosing, I'll, I'll do this bed on a slant. Well, that would, that would, that could look nice if, if I make it work. We also need a circular carpet. And now my favorite thing that Bloxburg has added are pillows. Finally, they added pillows. Look at them. They're gorgeous. And then right in the middle, I'm going to have this trimmed like a uh, circular pillow because circles, you know. So this is our bed. Uh, when it's colored, it will look better. I promise. So now I'm going to add a little blanket on top. So it just gives it a little bit of design like so. So now I put down pillars for the bed and now we are going to do like a little design with some rods. I don't know if this this will turn out good or um become a disaster but i guess we'll figure it out while we're doing this so i'm doing like a little hexagon thing over here instead of making squares because i feel like a hexagon is a lot closer i don't even think that's a hexagon geometry um not for me stay in school kids i don't think there's any rounded desks so we'll go with this traditional desk and then we'll get a rounded mirror and then we'll need a chair and with that chair it's of course going to be the stylish stool because it is rounded and then what else we'll also add is this modern corner shelf this will be both maybe i guess a makeup area and if i put this over here that won't be a makeup desk this will be like an actual studying desk i think i'll do that and then over here i'll have like an actual dresser and then this will be a desk area as i was saying and this will be a dresser and then these also fit in they kind of look like circles circular shapes so i guess that's fine basically i'm gonna put the shape down and then i'm gonna put the computer on top and now it is on top of whatever this is called kind of just move it off to the side and put a little candle this is probably hazardous but it looks aesthetic so we're gonna pretend it's not hazardous so what i'll do in the background i'll have like a, a circular window i guess we'll stick with this stylish rounded window i like how that turned out i guess i'll just color this in maybe we'll have this flooring to be i don't know something wood actually no i think we're sticking with linen this is the only nice thing we'll have this be different colors okay well we'll make a sacrifice and then since it's a green color scheme i guess this wall can be like this cloudy gray so that it just tones it down a little bit the color scheme for right now is kind of a little all over the place but now let's work on the bathroom the space is a bit tight so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this quite honestly <laughs> we'll have a shower right there so we'll have a sink there and then we'll have a little sink over here in this area the bathroom is gonna be a bit like empty at the same time but we'll make it work somehow i don't quite know how for right now let's focus on the bathroom it's perfect that will go right over here right next to the toilet i'm also going to be putting this down we're gonna have like a little bath towel but oh, or bath towel we're gonna have towels like that i think <laughs> we'll just add a window okay so it looks like that so it's not too empty you know what i mean and then we also need a mirror because this this spot is a little sad so we need a mirror and the mirror we'll go for is like this oh, actually i don't like that <laughs> actually it fits okay we could also get a shelf which i will fill up with some shampoos maybe i'll use these rounded floating shelves and i'll put them like right here and right here and then with that i'll also extend Extend it so it goes a little bit over i guess we'll get the towel and the towel is going to be hanging from that shelf and then maybe to finish it off i i guess i'll just add plants there hey that that looks good and now for the top shelf i have no idea what to add little plants
plant over here. We'll add a little candle there and then we'll add two candles over here. I gotta change the lights of that because, oh my goodness, my eyes are burning. <laughs> so that is our bathroom, I guess. Um, What we could have over here, it will be like an open um living room space. We're gonna start off with like a little comforter table. Now, where we are going to put it, I don't know. I didn't really plan that out yet. Maybe it on a slant, that would look nice. Actually, I'm gonna replace these at tables. I, I forgot I was doing a circle house. So we need a circular table. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look great. Right there, we'll have this go like that. That will be like that. And then we need an island, so island, and then here is the island shape and extend it. And then, oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so this will be like... I'm having a mind blank. I'll have the windows going like this across. We'll have something like this on top of our fridge. Well, we need more cabinets because we need to fill up this place. So maybe I'll just use this. Oh, that looks so nice. So let's take a look at chairs, chairs, chairs. Let's see. So I'll put those down. Oh, I think this is looking a lot nicer than what we began with. So we're just gonna have like a blanket on top of the, the couch. So it looks nice like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This will go right here. Our dining room table design made of circles. I'm all over the place. What was I saying? What was I looking for? Oh, I was gonna say, let's add pillows on to the couch. Okay, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> and we could also have a hanging blanket from the side. That would look nice. I just need to make it a bit shorter. So, so far, this is how the kitchen looks. I am just continuing coloring everything, basically. It looks a bit uh, dull, but I think if I add in like a background, like a, uh, a wallpaper, it'll make the, the kitchen look more realistic. So I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'll add these cabinets over here. I'll move this over the slightest bit. Oh, Oh, there you go. That works perfectly. Okay, I'll just leave that like that. Basically, what I decided that the theme of the colors would be for this house is basically like this brown, green, and like gray color. And uh, now for the colors of the walls. This wall, this green looks nice in my opinion. And this window is going to be like a traditional one. We also need a flooring. So I guess the flooring for this room could be this. Does that look better or does that look better? I think this looks better. Oh, we need a flooring in the kitchen. I was thinking a tile would go good, but I need to try it out to actually see. Oh my goodness, I kind of like this one. Oh, actually, this color is perfect. I think this fits the theme well. Eh? And then that's pretty much the kitchen. Maybe I could decorate this to go like that. I think that will be perfect size. I have a second mirror right there. And then we'll add like a little standing mirror right here because uh, we need to fill up space. And let's put a flat roof right there, right there, right there, and right there. There we go. Well, that is our beautiful circular house. So now it is finally time to take a look at the inside of my circular house. You come inside and here is the living room area. We have some aesthetic succulents we have a tv we have a mirror over there and then on our left is a dining room table which i'm actually proud of it looks really nice i can tell already there's a lot of green my sister told me i have a problem with using the color green recently uh here is our very realistic looking plant here is the bedroom the lovely colored green pillows to match everything green in this room here is a little desk area a potted plant up there you know we got some plants on the walls we have our nice cherry blossom plants then we have our laptop over here with an uncolored um handle that we're not going to pay any attention to because it's a small minor detail here is the bathroom we have our very small sink and mirror over here is the towels we also have a toilet of course and a shower so and it works so thankfully <laughs> now if we want to get out we have to go through the bedroom and here is the kitchen we have lots of spices we have the oven we have some decorations on the walls we have everything you need in a kitchen so pretty much the essential we also have a bar the stools work perfectly fine they sit straight and that was basically the tour of my circular house now how much would i rate it the exterior uh literally one out of ten because i put no effort into it other than coloring the walls that's where that one point came from and then the inside the inside personally i don't think it looked too bad other than the overuse of 
brown and green, but maybe that was the theme that I was going for. So I'll give it maybe like an eight out of 10, seven out of 10. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody. The Panda Girl is out.